One day after calling off a meeting about mandatory masks for schools, we are hearing tonight from Utah County Commissioner Tanner Ainge. As he explained to ABC4's Nicole Newman, this isn't even a decision that's made on the county level. This was kind of an orchestrated um, political stunt from Commissioner Lee. Utah County Commissioner Tanner Ainge is speaking out after calling off a meeting about mandatory school mask on Wednesday. He says it was for the safety of everyone there. This is the exact opposite of what we need to be doing. We are supposed to be physically distancing, wearing masks, and so... A lot of the guidelines about the building, and we had kind of seats taped off so there could be distancing, were disregarded. And so it, it really created for an unsafe environment that I didn't think would be responsible to continue with. Ainge was met with boos from the crowd, many of whom were against Utah's school mask mandate. Tiffany Barker, who has two school-age children, attended yesterday's meeting. I want to stand up and be a voice for the children that they don't have to wear masks back at school. Barker says there's still too little known about COVID-19 to make such a mandate. I think that the science is not there. I think that there's contradictory information every day. Ainge says while he understands the opposition, he doesn't understand why the meeting was called in the first place. He says a decision on whether or not there's a mask mandate for schools in Alpine's district isn't up to the county. The fact that we had it on our agenda, we had nothing to do. That would be like the school board holding a meeting to discuss the appropriate level of funding for the county's sheriff department. Nicole Newman, ABC4 News.